Dear Christian, if I could encourage you with one thing in this day and age, it would be to be confident in Christ, be bold in Christ. Do not cower, do not fear, do not worry, do not be anxious because you have the Holy Spirit, the same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead lives in you. And you have his word and you have his presence. He used to put his fire and his presence in buildings in the Old Testament and in spaces. But now we are the living stones, the building of Christ, the body of Christ that he puts his fire and presence within. And so you are unhindered, unlimited. You have the capacity of the Holy Spirit. I mean, read almost anywhere in the New Testament. Right here, I'm in 2 Corinthians in I've just circled maybe 10 places where it talks about boldness, confidence, strength. Read it, let him in, and do not cower. Do not stress. Do not worry. Trust the Lord. Walk in his fullness now. You are not the tail. You're the head. You're not the back. You're the front. You're not under. You're above because of what Jesus has done. It's not you or me. We're not worthy, but we are now made righteous in Christ and we have the Holy Spirit, literally one of the three of the Godhead, fully God, living inside of us, empowering us, equipping us to live his way and to do his will. (laughs) It's literally time to stop living like you are hindered. It's time to stop living like and thinking like you are less than or under or somehow can't succeed with what he's calling you to do. It's not about earthly success and all that stuff. We're talking about being about our father's business and and being equipped to be a mom, equipped to be a dad, equipped to be in that business or that ministry or that friendship or that conversation or whatever it is. You are equipped. You have the Holy Spirit with you. Don't worry. He will speak through you. Study the scripture. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 14. But thanks be to God who always leads us in triumphal procession in Christ. Chapter 3 verse 4. Such confidence as this is ours through Christ before God. Verse 12. Therefore, since we have such a hope, we are very bold. It's time for you to be very bold. Verse 17. Now the Lord is the spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is, There is freedom. Walk in freedom. Walk in triumph. Walk in victory. You have the Holy Spirit in you. Chapter 4, verse 1. Therefore, since through God's mercy we have this ministry, we do not lose heart. Stop losing heart. Take heart, for Jesus has overcome the world. Chapter 4, verse 7. This all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. Verse 16, therefore we do not lose heart. Chapter 5 verse 6, therefore we are always confident. Verse 7, we live by faith and not by sight. We are confident. Walk with the Holy Spirit, talk with the Holy Spirit, keep in step with the Holy Spirit, know him, be equipped by him, and lead the world to him. No more fear. The world is hurting and broken and fearful, and they don't need the body of Christ to be hurting and broken and fearful. They need the body of Christ. Although we were hurting and broken and fearful, we have now been brought into the fullness of of God who mends the brokenhearted, who takes away fear by his perfect love. They need this type of introduction to Jesus and his Christians and his people who are full of the spirit and offer them a way out of the kingdom of darkness and into the kingdom of light. Walk in God's fullness. Keep in step with the Holy Spirit who is in you. Walk in the power of the Holy Spirit.